Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of how to create a Discord bot. Today I'll be showing you guys how to host Discord bot for free 24-7 so you don't have to run on the same computer because it is quite hard to keep a computer running 24-7 if you ask me. So, Alright, so first of all, you need to find a hosting website. So uh, for beginners, I recommend a website called Repelit. So. It's basically a programming website that hosts your projects for free. So what you want to do is sign up for Repelit and just click start coding. All right, so once you've done that, go ahead and open the description and I'll leave a link to this page right here. All you have to do is click fork rep. So th this will make a Node 16 version rep. Like I said in the earlier video, Node.js 16 is the best version to make a discord button and it is the most stable right now so go ahead and rename your repl's name because repl's are always public so just make sure to give it a really long name or something so uh it can be, mine can be just tutorial bot and maybe just add some sort of things at the end just to be secure but i'll just continue with tutorial bot so once you've done that you will see that there are a few files First of all, go in uh, REPL it. It's base. It's the basic REPL file, and all you have to do is change this index to bot because the default file of Discobot Maker is bot.js. So after you have done that, go ahead and open up Discobot Maker, go to Projects, and open Project Directory. Once this opens up, just make sure you have WinRAR or 7-zip installed, and right-click New Zip. I recommend making a zip file because I just believe it's just better uh, and it'll be easier to uh, uh, to unpack it. So copying all of our files like this will make it a really big headache for us. So we're just going to put everything in a zip and we're going to unzip it on the whole server, which should not take more than a few seconds. So just control A, select everything, unselect this, hold control and click this. So that should unselect these two. So you don't want to copy no modules because this folder has way too many files and we can just simply get this back on the server itself. So select all of this and just drag it into this. All right, so let me go ahead and rename my thing to bot.zip. Now, if this is done, go ahead and minimize everything and take your bot.zip and drag it in. Make sure you drag it in the white area or you can, like if you have any folders made, just make sure you do it in the main directory, not inside a folder or something. So once you've done that, you should see it here. So after that, go ahead and go to shell and type unzip but unzip. Uh, give it a second and just click enter. Ignore uh, all, uh, all of this and then hold shift and press A. Make sure it's uppercase A because a lowercase A won't work. As you see, it says invalid response. So uppercase A and click enter. All right, so once this is done, it should extract all the files. And now we don't need the bot.zip anymore. So I'll just go ahead and delete this. And I'll just rename our index.js to keep underscore alive.js. So, uh, I have left the code in the description. Go ahead and copy it here. All right, so once you paste this in, just leave it like this and go to your bot.js and just around line 10, click enter and paste the other code in. So it should just be one line. Once you've done that, make sure to go to shell and quickly do npm i. This should install every missing package that uh, we had <coughs> not installed. So once that's done, go to console and just click a run. Uh, you should see this pop up. So our website is live. All our website is currently doing is just saying bot is alive and that is enough to keep the bot online. So you have successfully hosted your Discord bot. Congrats now. And um, now what we're going to need to do is just ping this website once every five or ten minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Uptime Robot for that. I have left a link in the description, so go ahead and log in. And 
once you're into the dashboard go ahead and click add new monitor in here you just select https friendly name just give it a name i'll just call my tutorial bar and in the url you go back to your ripple it and just copy this and just paste it right here so click create and then create again and then click close once you see monitor created and that should have made something like this so what this is going to do is it's going to ping this website basically open this website once every five minutes which is going to keep our disco ball online so now that we have done that Let's quickly uh, go ahead and check if our Discord bot is live or not. Alright, so let's go ahead and test if our Discord bot is working or not. So let's go ahead and do exclamation mark ping. Alright, that seems to be working fine. We can close this for a bit. And uh, if we go Discord bot maker, let's quickly make a help command. So we can just, just create new command and make sure to do text command because it is a text command. We'll just call it help so it should work on exclamation mark help and let's make it so um something like you can use discord formatting by the way so if you if you put double stars around your text this will be bold so you can use the you can use the formatting that you use in normal text message so let me just go ahead and quickly come up with something simple Alright, so that should do it, and once you've done that, so now that our bot is hosted on the internet, what we'll have to do is every time we save the scuba maker with control S, we're going to have to update the files on the Replit, because in order to update our bot, we'll have to put it on the server so it's up to date. So go ahead, go to project and open project directory, go into data. So, every command you change and every event you change and every setting you changed. So, these three have their own file. So, if you up, up, you'll have to upload these three files onto the data folder on the Replit in order to update it. So, I recommend just uploading all of them every single time. So, go ahead, open Replit and expand data. Just click on it and then open your project directory and then just drag this into here go ahead and click replace and there we go one thing i recommend is don't just drag the whole folder in because the thing is this folder has all of your data too like global variables server variables so if let's say you make a xp bar right which i'm going to teach in the future on how to make xp bot so if you guys go ahead and make that, we'll be using these files as our database. So we'll be storing our data in here. And because you probably have your bot hosted on the internet since day two, if you upload the whole data folder, it's going to replace and erase all of your updated data. So that's why I'm only telling you guys to upload these three files that, that are only bot related. So go ahead and drag these three in, click replace. And all you have to do is give it a second and click stop and then click run again. Give it a second and there we go, our part is alive. So once that's done, let's go ahead and quickly test the help command we just made. And there we go, works perfectly. Oh, ignore this, this is my other Discord bot, just pretend this nothing never happened, so yeah. So that's it, I hope you guys liked the video, thank you for watching and please tell me if you guys have any feedback or if you guys need help or anything. I'm always here to help you guys, just please, it's really uh, helpful for us creators to know if you guys like our content or if there's something wrong with it. Please let me know if you guys need help or anything in the comments. And anyways, other than that, thank you for watching and peace out.